so black we can't see nothing can't see nobody it's not a party it's not a party it's a loneliness deacon that's a torment is what it is because it's just you by yourself you can't see talk come it's just you in the blackness forever to the second death it is it is hey it is who want that who want that hey because it's probably because they don't know what's waiting for them that thing big and strong and mighty on this earth and the garden, there's no garden and acting up scoffers, the Bible said in the last days the earth will be full of them but they don't know what's waiting for them darkness forever and then the Bible said pastor and Enoch Enoch also the seventh from Adam I mean this is thousands of years prophesied of these same people he said behold the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against God. Man, this man prophesied that he's the seventh one after Adam and he prophesied that. That's, the, that's precisely what we are dealing with. That's precisely what we're dealing with, Deacon. Ungodly, 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 ungodly. He says, these are murmurers. Hey, I used to love Deaconess Olive. We'd be driving to church, just me and her, and she said, Deacon, they're just murmurers. She used to say it all the time, just like that. Complete. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she used to say. She used to say, you pray for them, that God give them time that they could change. She used to say it all the time. They're just complainers. They're walking after their own lusts and their mouths speak great swelling words having men's persons in admiration just because they have leverage over you. The Bible says they say leverage, they say advantage. Because that's all it is. You admire them because they have leverage over you. But they ain't coming to try to help you. There's absolutely no value in a relationship with them. That's why I don't be running around. Right? They have leverage, but you ain't getting none of it. So why are you trying to get it? They ain't getting none, right? It says, but beloved, remember you the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there will be mockers in the last time. Pastor, this thing appears over and over in the Bible. That there will be mockers, scoffers, scornful. Over and over the same concept appears. This is what we're dealing with. Who will walk after their own ungodly loss? And notice the same word keeps popping up ungodly, ungodly, ungodly. Walk not with them, talk not with them, commune not with them, ungodly, ungodly. These be they who separate themselves. The Bible says they're sensual. They do not have the spirit, capital S. But you, beloved, it says, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. I was, I was, I said, whoa, he changed the preposition. Notice the change in the preposition. He didn't say praying to. Notice the change in the preposition. But I said, one word makes a complete difference. Praying in the Holy Ghost, in spirit and in truth. Not to, in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life, right? And of some, it says, have compassion. Have compassion and make a difference. Pastor was the first person that told me this one night. And I said, wow. She said, others save with fear. Do you remember when you told me that? This was like 
11, 12 years ago, I never forgot it. It says, save others with fear because you literally, Jewel, will be pulling them out of the fire. Jewel, you, if you, you are telling what you have to do, you have to put the fear of God in them because you will literally be pulling them out of the fire is what the Bible is saying. He's pulling them out of the fire is what you're saying if you try to save them with the fear. Hey, compel them. Whatever it takes, compel them because it says, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Then he says, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. Because he is. He is able to keep us from falling away. Amen. You understand? He is able to keep us, Pastor, and to present you faultless. Jesus, even though we're full of faults, if we stay in it, Jesus could come and present us faultless, the Bible says, before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Clint, we got a glimpse into how this thing works. Hey, I'm telling you one of my constant prayers, please, when I get in front of you guys, please present me faultless to my Father who's in heaven. Because the Bible says no sweet, no sin. That's why the devil and his crowd got kicked out. No sin can dwell in heaven. So I want, when I get there, Deacon, it's like, what can go change the shot? Oh, daddy, give you a bag, go change the thing. <laughs> All right? You a bag, go change, you know, daddy, give. You bring to me, go ahead and take the shot, the thin. I don't want it, right? You don't want Jesus to say, nah, take those ones that way. No, we want to be presented faultless. It says, only to, our, to the only wise God, to our Savior, capital S, and then he said, the glory and majesty and dominion and power, now and forever. Amen. 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 Saints. I'll leave you with one last line. Prayerfully, you will remember everything else. We have to have a locus of internal control. Right? If you don't have it, like I said the last time, work on it. I'm not, I'm not, past, I'm not saying be stubborn and lawless. No, I'm saying have enough internal control as you won't be carried away by every wind. Because as we move along in this life, I don't care how old you are, babe. There will be winds trying to move you away from how you are trying to go. That's straight and that narrow. Don't be blown about by every wind. And I promise you, the Bible promises you, God says so over and over, there is a reward. It's not like you're just doing this, Tanisha, just to be doing this. We know it's hard. The baby is hard to control and, and to get ready and to come to church and to sit still and not cry and not fuss. We know it's hard, but there is a reward. There is a reward. If we stay in the race, they can do not faint. Stay in the race, and God will give us a reward now and a reward later. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. It is deacon time. That's a good time. <laughs> deacon, that's a good time. Deacon time. Because deacon will lead us in the altar call and then after that we have the communion. So um, deacon, you could kindly come up. Praise God. And another anointed message. Amen. If you're here today and you need healing in your body and or deliverance dear heavenly father i do pray for those that have these needs in the name of jesus he said in isaiah 53 but he was wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed we claim that healing now for each and every one in the name of jesus and if you've been moved and you want to receive jesus as your savior or you're in a backslidden slave Stay. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I know that I am a sinner. I believe you sent your son Jesus, who died on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me now. Praise God. Welcome to the
family of God. Amen. Praise God.